Hello guys and welcome to the new YouTube episode, new Syria. So this Syria is very important. It's a long time I wanted to, to film this. So this Syria about sleep. Sleep is the core of the regime. If this is a base core, this is, I would say, it's like the most important thing. Even more important than nutrition, even more important than training, sleep, base. So we need to fix base in order to recover efficiently and receive the best results for transformation for both fat loss and the muscle gain. So in my uh, history of my training and uh, competition preparation, uh, just generally, I used to never watch really on a sleep. I was very healthy, always don't drink, train hard, eating well, but sleeping is something what I neglected and I always push myself. I'm a personal trainer for like nearly 10 years experience and I always used to start work 6 o'clock in the morning for years. So it was years under sleep for me. And later on, it was, uh, you know, later it's lead to the massive burnout, which is another story. But anyways, uh, I learn, uh, I learn and uh, apply something for practice myself. And these tips I wanted to share with you. It's quite a lot of tips. So all these tips will help you to improve your sleep uh, and uh, recover better and feel great next, next morning. So what I'll do, I'll just show in one by one by one these tips for you and explain through. Uh, by the way, this video is a part of my preparation for the competition, very important competitions. So I have only four weeks until British final, UK DFBA. It's like a UK natural drug-free bodybuilding association competition. I qualified for finals, four weeks time. And after that, another four weeks time, I fly into USA to the biggest natural bodybuilding competition in Las Vegas. So that's, I'm very excited. So all this, part um, is like a, my journey preparation. All right, guys, let's begin. So tip number one, this is uh, before you sleep, it needs to be complete darkness. So in my opinion, there's, uh, the best is to sleep in complete, complete dark place. So your nerve system calm down uh, and uh, you're able to sleep deeper and more quality. So you can use a mask. Yeah, for example, a uh, sleeping mask, uh, something like this uh, on your face. Uh, for me personally, this doesn't work. Uh, I don't like to have anything in, in, my, in my face. So basically wh what to do instead, this is prepare my place for sleep by uh, closing any lights, any lights what can be like annoying uh, at night. Yeah, so because what happened, for example, you sleep, uh, wake up uh, and in the middle of the night going to the toilet, any lights in your face, then after basically you alert too much, you don't sleep that deep. So I'll show you what uh, I did in my flat to prepare um, for that. So for example, um, so usually number one is TV. Yeah? So in TV underneath have lights, red lights, very annoying, right in the face. So what I do, I cover it. Yeah, I cover it with a piece of cloth. That's it. So when I'm in my bed, for example, or, or decided to walk at night to drink some water or whatever, then after here, this is a fully uh, close. So this is light number one. Now, big ones, yeah? So here, guys, uh, in my flat, there quite a lot of lights from outside. But originally, it was this blind. Yeah, so this blind was like kind of see-through uh, blind, what uh, still give a lot of light. Uh, even in the evening. So I decided to invest a bit. I put one more fully blackout blind here, which I use it for night. Completely fix the darkness situation. And same for here uh, also. It was one original one, which is uh, kind of too see-through. And this is like complete darkness one. So for the bedroom, um, Maybe uh, you can see from here, I actually, I make complete, complete uh, uh, blackout blind completely. So it's going to the window and uh, it's like, make it like flat completely um, dark. So yeah, and I put uh, here um, also like uh, one more blackout blind. So this is actually, the bedroom is completely in darkness. So this is uh, number two. Now, <laughs> a bit uh, crazy ones, but very detailed. So here, uh, air conditioning, it was red light here. So I actually put some sticker on this light, so it's never, uh, never really like a showing. Now, uh, I have even like fire alarm here, 
some uh, red lights here so I close this as well also these ones um, very very important so this is a super bright yeah this is a timer on a stove a super bright light so at night uh, what I do is here like a lock um, like on my stove so I basically lock it and then after I put something like this over like put something to hold so there is like also complete darkness yeah so this is how to eliminate light oh by the way even one more what I did something insane so this is like um, to open door downstairs yeah so always uh, here it was this blue and red lights always on they have some sort of sensor when I when I walk past it then uh, automatically they on yeah at night it's quite bright here so what I did um, I remove a panel I put this like a dark cloth here so it's cover all these lights yeah so if I need if I need open door I still uh, it's usable I press I open but there is a like, completely darkness so that's how much everywhere I went to make it completely darkness uh, in my flat and it, it does make sense like does make sense I definitely improve uh, on the quality of sleep how I know um, I use Fitbit um, all the time so 24 7 and at night when I sleep in the application I, I can see how deep uh, was sleep since it was full blackout uh, depthness was perfect something what I would maybe not recommend it too much to watch at night on a Fitbit uh, because it's also quite bright light here in this model so you don't want to wake up and watch uh, you know how much you sleep yeah you bet is there just forget about it until morning then in the morning you can see how much you sleep and try to improve next time so application is quite good I like it um, I don't even pay for premium uh, at the moment um, it's enough for me <laughs> oh by the way guys so this is most, uh, was my last night yeah eight hours 27 minutes I sleep <laughs> this is for me quite record as well so I was thinking let me before I film video for you guys about sleep let me sleep you know <laughs> better so last night I went to sleep 7 19 in the evening like super as, as soon as I arrive home right away sleep and I wake up okay 5 30 I wake up so what uh, it does it's showing quite detailed chart about sleep you have how many times you wake up okay at the moment you see I'm in a competition preparation I wake up a lot yeah so it's not perfect uh, still not perfect sleep hours I covered but um, quality was not that and then it's showing like how many deep sleep how many light sleep REM sleep so all this like a data it will show and also it's showing like how much oxygen uh, you have so it's like quite a detailed chart yeah so for example um, another time yeah every time you go on deep sleep it's showing you yeah you're on a REM sleep it's showing you yeah so <laughs> this is you know I told you about sleep but my sleep is like medium these days because four weeks before competition um, super tough guys super tough now it's like a body is sensitive you know body is sensitive what happened at night for example I go in a sleeping cycle uh, like two hours open my eyes you know so open my eyes and brains right away thinking okay I need to do this this I need then I like look calm down let's let's think about it in the morning yeah so at the moment it's tough but um, as soon as competition done it will be better so I do everything what I can uh, physically do to make uh, my sleep better but uh, this is athlete life yeah I need to push myself central nerve system is you know suffering it's a, a big push on the low carbs low calories you wake up from hunger and uh, also when you do competition uh, this is you're not really in the middle you like always hyped up energy is high so super excited about competition this so you always like up motivation is really high so not good for sleep as well another tip guys for you and sometimes I use it as well sometimes long overwhelming day for example a lot of uh, clients a lot of work and then you just come back home and just brain is racing still you're in a working mood or whatever maybe some stress so I using uh, some type of teas uh, to calm down nerve system for deeper sleep so half an hour before sleep yeah uh, make a small tea of so let's see okay actually I have last bag of this tea and I have chamomile tea quite a lot so chamomile tea this is the first solution yeah chamomile tea this is the best uh, for sleep so what you do for example uh, I use like just cheapest to be honest with you chamomile tea and still working very well double bag so double bag in a cup add some water not much water you know because you don't want to wake up in the toilet too often so maybe a bit like a half of cup yeah and then 
leave it for five ten minutes yeah and uh, it will be uh, basically best uh, solution to calm down your nerve system so use it about half an hour before sleep and then just go and relax definitely you feel calmer and sleep will be better that's number one yeah number two the tea is stronger solution uh, this is a valerian tea uh, here in uk uh, i like this brand uh, dr stewart unfortunately i ran out of the tea it's last package but maybe uh, yeah we add a picture yeah so we add picture here so you can see how a pack looks like um, you can buy in a whole net barns uh, you can buy it in a whole foods so dr stewart this is a super strong tea valerian so this grass you know this grass what make cats go funny and then for human being it's different effect it's make us calm down so this is another one very strong so i would uh, recommend same yeah so you do like a half an hour before sleep by, by the way sometimes when i have real problems with the sleep because uh, on a competition preparation it's tough you know on the low calories very difficult to sleep quality so sometimes i use actually both and chamomile tea and valerium tea so this is like <laughs> double power uh, leave it for 10 minutes like this and uh, drink half an hour before sleep so this is actually creating like super deep sleep only problem is if you need to wake up very early after it can make you a bit lethargic in the morning i'm not gonna lie so that's like a strong tea so it will be super deep sleep uh, but in the morning just needed time to start moving and uh, boost yourself yeah so these two teas you can try and for sure one of them will work so that's another tip for you and uh, hopefully you like it all right guys so now we was filming daytime and now we continue filming for you guys now it's like at 20 to 10 p.m real life condition of night all right another tip guys uh, about phones yeah so phone really good to put it on the charge and not in the bedroom but somewhere I, I put it in the kitchen far away from bedroom this creates some like a next level uh, result for sleep so if phone is far away uh, on a silent so you don't see like this new new iphone they have this like always on screen really like rubbish actually just down like this um, and uh, um, just leave it one and a half hour before sleep just leave it and uh, don't don't watch it trust me your brain will be like calm and uh, like you sleep so much better oh by the way so i cook in a bit here my meal preps so guys if you didn't see another video um, i was uh, just another episode it was about meal prep easy meal prep yeah as me, my videos is easy easy meal prep easy tips for sleep so you can uh, follow uh, link and um, watch this video as well so far as i have very good feedback and uh, some guys you know like um, the easiness of uh, that meal prep and uh, effectiveness uh, by the way i forgot to say in this video what when you cook yeah for three days uh, you put in the fridge everything else goes in the freezer yeah not yet f uh, food poisoning anyways come back to the sleep topic so now uh, guys let me show you air um, air plugs uh, what to use uh, this is like you have like a couple for example maybe for somebody it will be good just a standard air plug like this for my ears not working yeah for my ears not working because air is small and it's not really give like full isolation uh, i like this um, i don't know if you see it so this brand here so this is completely different style of uh, air plugs this is give you like full isolation in the ear uh, i'll show you how to use it so it's like this yeah like uh, they covered in a cotton yeah so what do you do you clean the cotton away like this you just a bit push and squeeze with your finger yeah make it a bit warm and uh, then create this like a longer cone from it so maybe like twist it like this make one corner sharper so this type of figure you want yeah so then after this with the sharp corner going inside your air and uh, you put it in then squeeze like this squeeze so now it's create full isolation here i even can't hear myself now already on one side then you do same for another side yeah like first of all it's comfortable second of all it's like a full isolation the downside of it in the morning when maybe alarm will be a problem to hear but you still uh, you, if alarm is loud you can still hear a little bit definitely 
uh, try to use it. This is great uh, for the plane as well when you fly in the planes uh, or in a noisy room. Next one is sleeping spray. So this is another emergency uh, option for sleep. So this sleeping spray, uh, one of my client uh, sell. So his company name is Rested Sleep Engineering. And uh, they sell this sleeping spray. He kindly give it uh, one to me. I was tested in the past. Last year when I was doing competition, it was working very well. So this is looking like this. Very nice um, smell with the lavender. Uh, what you do, just like spray like this. Maybe five, uh, uh, five sprays and leave it like this just before you go to bed. Just make sure it's not on going on the skin. But uh, it's really a relaxed uh, like system and very efficient, very good sleep after. So now guys, I show you how bright is here really at night. So let's switch off lights. So I'll really show you. Also, I have this little fireplace, what I decided to invest. And uh, that's another way how to relax at night. So I just switch it on sometimes and sit a bit, relax after working day, watching fire. Yeah, so all these lights from outside and especially this light. So you see guys outside, this one right there. So at night it's switched on all night, right in the windows. That's why it's really disturbing sleep. Yeah, so now with the, these blinds we fix this situation. So at night I just use this fully blackout blind. Number one, bam. Number two, down. These blinds are real cheap. And uh, I bought it in Ikea for maybe like 12 pounds or 15 pounds. And uh, maybe this longer one was a bit more expensive. I don't remember now uh, because windows are, uh, window was very big. But uh, trust me, this is will worth it. This investment uh, pays off. Yeah, if you're struggling with a too bright in, in your flat, full up, full up blackout blind will, will be a perfect solution. Guys, now one more thing what I wanted to show you. This is something what I bought. I bought this like a light for the bathroom. For example, when I wake up at night in a toilet to not switch on the lights, the bright light the whole time. There is like automatic light. Uh, I will show you. Yeah, I keep it on the floor in the bathroom. Yeah, it's looking like this. So we have sensor and uh, when I pass by, uh, so sensor is on. Yeah, I keep it like this on the floor. So for example, let's say it's dark. Yeah, it needs to be actually completely dark. So let me show you. So I switch. Yeah, so now you see it's a little bit of light here and uh, there is no bright light. Sometimes even, you know, I put it here in a counter uh, and uh, when I take bathroom, for example, uh, instead of these big lights, uh, it's only this like light. Uh, I remember I was putting even candle sometimes instead of this, a bit of candle as well light also can relax you. Yeah, so guys, this is, was uh, tips for you and uh, hopefully you will uh, enjoy tips. Some of them you can ap apply for yourself. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I hope it will help you to improve your sleep. I'm a pure practitioner, I'm not scientist. So anything I learn, I apply for practice. It's work and work, not work, not work. So you can do the same with these tips. So little summarizing for all video what we took today and these tips. Uh, I have a little paper to remind myself what we talked to. So guys, make sure you make your place dark, yeah, completely dark and um, Otherwise, use mask. Yeah, if you feel comfortable, uh, you will sleep deeper. That's number one. One and a half hours before sleep, you can take your phone away. Don't watch the phone. Put it in another room. Yeah, put it in another room. Like, don't watch it. This will be the best. Now, uh, same for TV as well. Yeah, just read book, and uh, it will be so much better. Okay, next one. Use sleeping tea, and uh, you can use the chamomile tea or, for example, valerian tea. It's working for me. You can try. Uh, it will work for you hopefully as well. Okay, next one. Uh, you can use air plugs, yeah, if your place is noisy or you know in the morning it start noise, for example, train, planes or whatever, neighbors wake up. So use air, good air plugs uh, and uh, it will help you a lot. So now extra tip for you guys regarding food and uh, drinking water or whatever um, before sleep. So you can stop eating a bit earlier 
so your digestion system finish dealing with the food and uh, it's not like you fall asleep and it's like heavy you know on your stomach so about one and a half hours two hours before but even earlier if you can you can stop eating yeah and also regarding drinks as well uh, you can n don't drink too much water before bed for example now i'm on a competition prep i drink a lot of water every day a lot but uh, what i do now i try to finish earlier so all water i finish by six seven like all my liters and liters of water after that just sip just sip just sip so as a result not waking up too much often in the toilet so that's another tip guys for you thank you so much for watching my channel my new project uh, and uh, uh, your support means a lot and uh, thank you for watching both series so this series for competition preparation and also another one life of personal trainer where i show in transformation of my client introducing slowly slowly to my guys you know who also pushing themselves and we make some great result together so hopefully it will motivate you now to make your transformation yeah if you want some tips uh, or anything you can contact me you, uh, my instagram Ivor physique yeah, you can write uh, comments and uh, please let me know if you sleep and proof. I will be very grateful. And uh, any ideas uh, what you want me to film for you, new, let me know as well. So now I have plenty of ideas anyway and um, um, a lot of a lot of nice videos, hopefully nice for you, <laughs> for you and helpful, will be on the way. At the moment, let's keep pushing transformation together. Not much time left. So sleep is important, training is important. And I will update you soon on uh, my progress. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following. Thank you for everything. And see you in the next episode.